Yeah, and, 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 you know, like the confusion of charging orders. And so, you know, like to pick it back up, you know, like that asset is in California. That's where that lawsuit is going to come from, not Wyoming. Wyoming law is not going to transfer to California or any other state that's not in Wyoming. Um, so like a, it, it's going to be that state laws that are going to be applied. You know, so for assets, you know, that are real estate, for example, we recommend that you just create and use, you know, the LLC in the states where that real estate is located in because you're not going to, you know, gain anything by using another state. You're just doubling your maintenance costs. And now you also have to maintain the LLC in two states. So just keep it simple. Um, and then when we talk about, you know, like legal versus practical authority, legal authority is what you think would happen if everybody followed the law per the letter of the law and the statutes. That's never, never happens. That's not how things happen in court. Practical authority is what happens in practical world. What happens actually in court. By exercising the practical authority or their superpower, the court of equity, um, what asset protection does is levels that playing field.